for some girl chat. Yeah. Yeah. company Victoria's Secrets will be closing 53 of its stores citing a decline in performance. Mm. Now according to Business Insider, critics of the brand blame the company's failure to embrace plus size and transgender women in their stores while other competitors like Target selection for all sizes. Now people on Twitter start to feel petty upon hearing the news and wanted to issue a I told you so like half user at Jewish, who tweeted, should let the fat girls wear panties. <laughs> Life comes at you fast. <laughs> so, like, do you think Victoria's Secrets is finally out? 53 stores is a lot of stores. And, is, a lot of stores. and what happened was, he actually, when they asked him, they said, Are you going to put the plus size women in the yeah. fashion show? Well, are you going to put transgender women? The, um, the CEO was like, Well, you know, it's a fantasy. So, no. Well, Ashley Graham has been trying to help them out mm -hmm. for some time. Asked to be, you know, and yeah, amazing. They said, no. And now she's in, you know, a, a lot of fashion shows. Yeah. I feel like if there's a need and people are vocalizing it, the companies really need to take note of that. Absolutely, yeah. It's a, this is a, a yet another example of brands needing to see that it's not just models buying your things. Your exactly. consumers are real women with real life sizes. Yeah. It makes sense. Sure. And a lot of brands, I notice, Sometimes when they don't want to carry or expand past, past you know, the average woman's size, which uh -huh. is a 12 even. Some sizes don't yeah, even go that far. again, the average, average size, size, average size is, is 10 to 12. 10 to 12, yes. Yeah. And some brands, beautiful, beautiful. Some brands don't want to carry beyond that size because they want their image to be aspirational, not relational. Okay. They want to look like you want to sit with us. You wish you could be us. So they have this illusion of what they think women should look like when real women out here living our lives, living our best lives, and not buying their things. Yeah. So this goes back to you guys. This is good news. This tells you all out there that you have the power in your park pocket. You have the power to support brands that are inclusive. Spend your money with the brands that actually represent who you want to be. Well, I mean, and this is even, I think women that are undersized 10 felt something. When you say something like that, where you're not including all women, yeah. I mean, women just said, you know what, it's time to stop all of Yeah. I think. And the great thing is that there's other people that are willing to be inclusive, like Rihanna with Fenty Savage. Oh, yes. yes. I love Fenty. Yes. 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 I'm obsessed with the lingerie line. Check it out right there. And just this past week in Paris Fashion Week, Zendaya, who did a clothing line yes. with Tommy yes. Hilfiger. Yes. Yes. She killed it. Look, look, this is a plus size woman walking. Killed it. Killing it. And again, it's fashionable, it's fly, but it is relatable. relatable. Yes. But and it really does show that that makes a huge impact. Did y'all hear that rumor? What? what? That rumor about uh, Future. He wouldn't. He didn't want no BBWs coming in the club. B B you, you know, yeah, it was a rumor. Um, that one of the plus size girls put it up that she was in Miami. Mm -hmm. She um, asked to go to the, the club that Future was at. She reportedly got stopped by the bouncer, and the bouncer said, Future don't want no big women in the club. What? And when, I mean, when I said Twitter lit up, yep. Twitter lit up, and it wasn't just the big women that lit it up, that Future actually came on, he put out a tweet, he said, that's not true. He, he actually that. put out a video that yep. said, that's not true. Because so, one thing about me, I go to the club and I go to the concession stand, but what's wrong with that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but more importantly, I enjoy my life, I eat, I drink, yeah. But you know? it shows that if you try to play big women, oh, they're going to come for you. Yes. And they're going to have all allies done. and people that are going to yes. defend them every day, all day. They show that they can't get away with that kind of behavior because somebody's going to put you on blast and then you got to put out apologies. And Future did say he that said he, he loves all women. So, well, thank you, Future. <laughs> I see you.